Okay, we're back on. I'm sorry, it's a mouthful. Um, while we wait for the phone call that I believe is eminent, let's uh, catch up. Okay, so that uh, <clears throat> that was uh, 6D, correct? Mm -hmm. The advisory opinion is 2016-5. So we also have advisory opinion 2016-7, which is confidential. Is that something we need to take? Um, or can we just move it to next meeting? How do you, or where are we at well, with that? But it's interesting. He wanted it to be confidential. If it's, so now I'm confused. If it is confidential, there's no point to doing it. We've already told him no. I, th I think you wanted to do a scrubbed version because I think you said, well, he can't withdraw it. Yeah. And, and you wanted to do a scrubbed. Saying he can't withdraw and when the rules don't give us flexibility. Okay. Next meeting. Nice meeting. Yeah. Hello? Jason? Hi. Jason Smith. Oh, very good. Hi. How are you? Hi. Uh, can, we, uh, can we pull the phone closer? I don't know if we can. Can we turn it up? That's fine. No, Jason, can you hear us? I can. Okay, this is David Nesbitt. I'm the chair of the, the Board of Ethics Committee. Yes, I do. And we, um, while we may have met at some other time, we, we did not meet the last uh, time you appeared before the Board of Ethics. I was not here. Oh, okay. But um, we were just, we, we've drafted a response, a written response, to, um, uh, to the notice, or no, to, I'm sorry, to the advisory opinion that you testified on. And something came up rather specific during our discussion about the draft uh, response that we were hoping we can spend just a few minutes with you to ask. Sure. Um, Dee, do you want to ask the question? Well, no, I can. Uh, yeah, but either way. Yeah. The, the, what it was was there was that discussion you had. The, the board was pretty, uh, was good about all things in general, but the one thing that what did come up and stuck in a couple of the board members was the issue of the. Uh, blank checks for the one yeah. candle that wouldn't take a credit card. Yeah. And so the board did have concerns with that. And I don't know, do you have questions? The, uh, I have. I, oh. if, if you'd like, I can kind of explain how that, that system works, and then any, any questions can be directed. If that helps, that might help clear clear things up. Sure. Uh, and and if. Questions. If I may frame the frame your response in this way too, the, what we're looking at specifically is for a credit card purchase of a of a dog. It sounds like there's kind of a we were impressed with the checks and balances that the um, that you seem to have in place for these types of uh, purchase of these dogs. But the concern, of course, is that if an APD officer or someone uh, goes and purchases a dog with a blank check, obviously that's going to raise concerns. But it sounds like in during our discussions. We were thinking there are probably in place checks and balances for that operation as well, and we imagined and speculated on what those might be. But if if that's kind of the specific question that we have, does that make sense? Uh, yes, uh, I think so. Um, the, the, the check situation is really not the issue very specific to that particular kennel. We typically don't do that, but this particular kennel only takes checks. So if we switch kennels, um, which we don't plan on doing because the Shallow Creek is, has, uh, has treated us very well and they, they, you know, they take good care of their dogs and whatnot. We choose to go to them. However, they don't take credit cards and we also felt it better than taking you know, $25,000 in cash <laughs> with a handler. So, so we sent a check and what happens is dollars to dollars provide um, two checks typically um, in case an error is made on one. Um, mm -hmm. But they typically send two checks with the signature of a dollar for dollar representative um, signed or, or made out to Shallow Creek Kennel specifically. Um, the only thing left to be uh, filled in is the date and then the amount. Um, when the dogs are selected, phone calls are made to both the supervisor and dollars for dogs advising that they do have uh, dogs selected. Um, they write the check for the amount to the kennel, and then um, the, the you know it's handed over. A receipt is obtained, and the receipt is actually faxed that day from the kennel back to the department and um, the dollars for dogs. 
so that we know that the transaction is complete. Um, one of the one of the things that was brought up in the meeting when I testified before was how do we know that the handler is not in cahoots with the uh, I'm paraphrasing here, it's not the exact language, but mm -hmm. you know, how do we know that we're not making it out for more or whatever? I, I the only thing I can tell you is that from from here on out a supervisor is going on these trips, um, not for any other reason other than we just don't want to have um, the responsibility of a thirty thousand dollar trip held on the shoulders of an officer. So the sergeant is there watching the transaction and I any number of things can go wrong on these things, and we just have, it's just never come up, um, you know, this type of situation where there's um, been, it, it, the, the dogs, when we get there, the dog has received training and more money. Um, you know, I just, I just don't see it as a, we, we see it as a kind of, we have to do it with this particular kennel. We could wire money. I mean, there's other options. However, we're on a time constraint. We're, we're only there on the ground for five days. That leaves us two days. Uh, that leaves us one day to travel from Chicago. That leaves two days to test dogs, one day at the veterinarian, um, one day to travel back. And then there's usually about a half a day in there that I miss that, that takes care of vets or anything that comes up. So that the guys are hustling when they get down there and waiting on wire transfers and things like that is just kind of a difficult thing. This is just a, an easier way of going about it. Um, the way I've always looked at it is we are nothing but a, a courier for that check to get down there. It's not made out to the handler or any of that kind of thing. It just we just provide the check to the uh, to the kennel. So that that's it. If it's an issue or a problem, we can look at other options. But under these set of circumstances, it is very specific for the handler or you know for this particular kennel. Is there a list before the handler goes down to choose from among? the selection of, of dogs available. Is there a list of dogs that's provided to the handler before he goes down with a cost of each dog associated with that dog? Sure, I, I understand the question. Uh, and no, no, there's not, and the reason mm. is this. That there's a huge turnover. Those dogs are turned over mm. um, weekly, daily, mm. monthly. If they sent us a list, that list will no longer be valid by the time we get there. Okay. Um, their business is selling dogs. Um, they come in from Europe, they'll get a shipment of 30 dogs in, and um, it's, I can't I can't tell you how long it takes to get rid of those, you know, to sell those 30 dogs, but it isn't long. Um, when we tra we're traveling from such a long distance away, we tell, we'll call John, uh, the owner of the kennel, and say, hey, we have our tickets, when, or, or we're planning on purchasing tickets, when would your shipment of dogs come in? Um, and he will say, okay, 1st of July, my plane lands with 30 dogs, that's your best time to come down here to select your test dogs because I'll have the most dogs that John won't even know what animals he's getting um, because they come in from Europe and his supplier is sending them the dogs. When they arrive, then he'll know kind of what he's dealing with and which dogs. By that time, within a week or two, we're hitting the ground doing, um, you know, doing our selection tests on the dogs. So there's a there's a very high turnover rate just because it's it's that's his business, and um, you know and, and so we, we don't know uh, we we never know what we're going to get. I can tell you uh, these that we bought three dogs a couple years ago and they ranged all the way from a green dog which is a dog with very little to no training. They'll be about nine anywhere from eight to ten thousand um, dollars a dog with training will go up to $12,000. We don't know which dogs we're going to get until we get down there and select and test them. So there has to be an element of trust in, you know, in, in the, along with the, the, the kennel between us and the kennel. And quite frankly, that's why we go to John, because we trust him, he trusts us. Um, there's a, um, he, he's, uh, there's some kennels that are not as reputable and um, they're, um, they, we don't go to them because they'll misrepresent dogs and things like that. Okay. Um, so, so anyway, I, I hope that answers your question. No, that's good. Ted, did you have a question? Yeah, uh, this is Ted Carlson. Um, yeah, I did. Uh, you know, in this day and age, you know, you can make, you know, a uh, uh, officer can make a phone call from, from down there at two dollars for dollars here and tell them the price. And it wouldn't take them ten minutes to transfer funds down to to the kennel. You know, wouldn't that be a, a safer uh, 
way to go. You know, the, I, I realize time is of the essence, but you know, you can do all that in less than 15 minutes. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure it could be done, and, and if that's what needs to happen, we can do that. Um, I, we, we haven't encountered, I, I guess when you look at it, and, and I'm, I, you know, I, it doesn't, if, if that's what we need to do, we can do that. Um, the, we have not encountered an issue or a problem with doing it this way. Um, whether we write a check or they transfer funds, um, I, you know, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't make any difference. We haven't encountered a problem. However, if um, if it would make people more comfortable, um, we can certainly talk to dogs for dogs and, and ask them if that's an acceptable method of doing is just going to the bank and um, and wearing the transfer here, you know, wearing money down there or however that works. Um, you know, I, I'm sure that there's an alternative way. Uh, we haven't really had a problem. If it's just the appearance thing, um, then that's fine. I mean, we can change the way we do business. But that's what this is all about, is to make sure that everybody, the oversight is there. And if we're not comfortable with the check, then, you know, we can change. Yeah. The, um, yeah, it, you know, it would, it would eliminate any 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 type of problem. Uh, you know, you see your attendant, is, uh, you know, su supervisor down now. Uh, when I was on, we fired a police sergeant for stealing gas. You know, yeah. so the, it, it, it's 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 always there. You know, the threat is always yeah. there, and this would yeah. eliminate any threat whatsoever. Sure. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and you know that that's fine. I, I um, you know, when I presented uh, uh, months ago when when I came down there, uh, if there's a better way, surely there is, and we will certainly do it. This is just what we've done in the past. It seems to work pretty well. Um, you know, we have very good documentation. Uh, the credit card thing uh, that that bothered some folks in the beginning, but once we talked about it, and we actually, um, I think I provided some of the, um, you know, some of the documentation that we we used. It's really a great way of doing it because they, every single expense, there's no question. You know, if there's, if there's something that goes on the card, everybody sees it. We see it, they see it, they it yeah. You know, it is, um, there is nothing that goes unchecked. Um, so, so if, if it would make people feel more comfortable, um, that, that's fine. Uh, we can we can talk to the extra dogs. I'm sure it would not be a problem and try a different route. If there is, I guess we could revisit it and we could find out why. Um, this is just one way of, of handling it. Now, the only thing, I have not checked with the kennel, um, so I'm not sure uh, what they would like to do, um, but that's uh, that's something we can work out for sure. Okay. Well, could you do this for us? Uh, I'm sorry? Can you do this for us? Can you check it out and and see if this idea is possible and without a lot of problems and if the kennel, and then get back to us on that? Sure, um, I can make a phone call. Are you guys going to be convening for another uh, few minutes yet? Uh, we weren't I, planning. We were <laughs> ten minutes? Could you do it in ten minutes? I, I believe I can. If, uh, what I'll do is I'll call you back one way or the other. I'll call Marshall Johnson right now. Uh, he's the treasurer. And if he says it's, uh, if I can get a hold of him and he says, well, either way, I'll call you back and just uh, let me make it in the time it takes to hang up. Sure. And then I'll call you back. Hey, hey Lieutenant. Know, yeah, go ahead, Dean. I was just going to say, Jason, is this going to cause any more problems with Marshall? Uh, it's, it's not, yeah, it's not going to be great. We, we've been waiting, or they've been waiting for quite some time, and we've also encountered another issue where we may not be filling the, the handler spot just yet. Um, so their they're, they're patience is growing thin. Mm -hmm. um, their so patients are giving us money, and we keep putting yeah. them off yeah. and saying, "Well, we wanted this thing. No, we want this. No, we want that." Well, uh, Lieutenant, exactly. May and, and it's not it's not you folks. You, this is the first time you know having to call back. And these are actually uh, pleasurable compared to some of the delays we've had. Uh, and be be content to tell you that we we've, we've run into some obstacles that um, shouldn't have been obstacles, and so they're 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 all volunteers. Um, they've been on the board, as Ted can tell you, they've been on the board a very long time. Um, and I can tell you their patience is running very thin, but I'll do my best. Um, this is not the first time uh, that I've had to call them for clarification on something or, or to change something. Um, it, it, we're kind of on, I, I hate to say it, but we're kind of on thin ice right now because well, they, uh, 
Well, Can look, I ask the board here? I, yeah. Is there a different way instead of getting a yes now, simply to note that the that their board members would express concerns about the, the using the. Well, and can I ask a follow-up yeah. question too? Uh, Lieutenant, yeah. uh, this is David Nesbitt again. Really quick question. I'm just, just, I, I'm, I'm kind of getting into the nitty gritty of the procedure here. But the question is this: If you are carrying a blank check down to purchase a dog, and you have a credit card uh, as an alternative, um, the two different ways of purchasing the dog does one? Um, let's see how how can I phrase this? Is there a w if if the concern about bringing a blank check is the fact that is the fact that it's blank, but that transaction is then subsequently reviewed, in the same way that transactions on a credit card are also reviewed, is there any is there any real difference between the transaction with a check and one with a credit card to the extent that if the concern is that the price of the dog versus the charge to the dollars for dogs or whatever could be altered in some way uh, to maybe pad the, the pocket of someone. I'm just throwing that out as a, as a hypothetical, right? If that's the concern, right. is that something that couldn't also be done on a credit card? Is the transaction truly, is the, the transaction itself truly different on a credit card versus a, a blank check? Because that's a different issue from the fact that, a, a, that, that someone's carrying a blank check that is subsequent, that, that could be lost or something. I don't, that's a different issue. No, I, did, 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 did you see the question? I I, I understand the, the question completely, and actually, I, I didn't want to sound argumentative when mm -hmm. answering my question earlier. But basically, I was going to say the same thing. If, if someone was going to alter the amount for the dog, because that was a concern at the previous meeting, uh, or, or not a concern, but that was a question. The question was, could could the, the amount of money be altered for the dogs and then paid for, and then somehow the the, the handlers be benefited from that? Well, the same thing could be done with a credit card charge. Exactly. We're relying, we're relying on the um, the um, the kennel owner to tell us how much the dogs are, and then whatever our form of payment is, mm -hmm. is is just that. I mean, we, we, they could they either get paid by a credit card, and that that payment amount could be altered at any time. Right. Um, and the check is nothing but a vehicle. To, to, to you know to pay them that that's our actually the, the handler is the vehicle to get that check down there but that amount the handler does nothing other than hand them the check just like they would hand them a credit card okay that that answers so, my question yeah no I think that's I mean, good they, they, they provide the <clears throat> payment method which is either a credit card when they go to the gas station and they slide the card for the for the gas for the vehicle that they're driving when they go to the rental vehicle place they're they're providing the, the um, credit card um, the same thing could be done. We have to uh, get larger vehicles at times, so sometimes we have to go through a, a different type of um, a rental company because they provide a bigger vehicle. Um, that could happen at any step along the way. And, well, I shouldn't say any step. I mean, the gas station is the fuel station and that's that. But, but basically, um, the check, it, they hand it to, the, the only thing they do is write in the amount they hand it to the panel owner, and then they never see that check again. Okay. So I don't. I think the same. You know, whether they hand them the credit card or whether they hand them hand them a um, blank check or a filled in check at that point, I don't know that really matters. Okay. All right. I, yeah. Why, why, we can postpone this to rest of it until next yeah. meeting, and if you I, can get back to us before our next meeting with some some information that you contacted. Well, yeah. But Ted, I'm concerned about rocking the boat. Or yeah. More with this nonprofit. At this point, yeah. I, well, I, I, the, you know, I, I guess what it, at this point, I mean, I, I, I am as wealthy, um, and they, they've been they've been very patient. And what I would say is this: if if we're not comfortable, and it sounds like we're not, if we're not, then that's okay. I mean, it really is. It well, is fine. Jason, let them. Jason, let me interrupt you. Yeah. Let, yeah. Do, wait until either Ted or I, or one of us, get back to you. Don't do anything further. Let the board discuss this issue among ourselves. I, I think okay. sort of yeah. Okay. Different per, points of view. Yeah. Let's let's. Yeah. Can we, do, Jason? Very. Thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate it, and we really appreciate your uh, your very specific input. I, I I think at this point we want to discuss this some more, but but again, I would not like Dee said. Don't do anything yet. Let, wait until to hear from, hear from us. until you hear from us. I, I have, I, 
Oh, you Kathleen, yes. I, I just yeah. have one question. Jason, how often do you make these dog buying trips? Oh, it's once every two years. Oh, oh. okay. And how often do you use, and oh. how often do you use a check? Uh, each time we go to the county. Oh, okay, so every time. So once every two years. That's what I mean. It, it, okay. It is very infrequent, and if we went to another kennel, we would not even be discussing this because they either right. did, uh, you know, credit card or you know, some other means. And this particular kennel is fairly small, and yeah. that 3% adds up on a, you know, right. those dogs that they're selling. Gotcha. But, okay. Um, All right. So, but no, I, and I would say, you know, there are times when we go, um, you know, I, I I think it's once every year and a half on average, um, but it's probably this time it'll be, I'm trying to give you a date of when we went. Uh, we, no, that's, that, yeah, that's fine. Okay, no, that Jason, gives us. I'm going to have to cut you off. we got to make this decision. Sure. Yeah, no, thank you, Jason, very much. Okay, okay bye. Jason. All right. Yeah. Uh, sorry, but I, yeah. It was every month I, that you wanted. I, I totally disagree with you uh -huh. on the credit card. Okay, tell me why. Because the only people that would benefit from that would be the, the owner of the kennel and the treasurer of the, of the dog for dogs. The officer can't, the trainer can't, because that that would would have to be there. It would be documented there. So the the it would completely eliminate our employee and the trainer there because it would have to be done. If there's a fraud in the credit card deal, it would have to be done with the treasurer of Dollars for Dogs and with the kennel owner. Mm -hmm. So so that that wouldn't eliminate. Um, how, but how how with a check? I mean, the, the is it an officer who carries the check? Yeah. No, it's the sergeant, right? So a sergeant goes down with a check. It sounds like they they pick a dog. They have a conversation with somebody back here in Anchorage with dollars for dogs, right? No. Do they not? No. No, it's t yeah. and done entirely between the sergeant and the. Yeah. 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 But, but see whether but they I have don't a know. check, a, yeah. a dollars for dog check or a dollars for dog credit, credit card. card. The, per, the people who are going on the trip are the ones that present those documents. Or, mm -hmm. So it would right. be the same to me. That it sounds the like the same. Yeah, but how do you get, how is the officer or the trainer going to get the money from the credit card company? Visa. They, well, they just use the yeah. credit card or well, use how the check. It, how would they get it from the check? The, um, the, same. the check doesn't the come same. from the sergeant's bank account. Well, if what you imagine two scenarios, you give them the check and the owner gives you $2,000. Yeah. You present the credit card, the owner gives, gives you $2,000. $2, it's the same that that thing. Cause the, the, yeah, but, but it has to go through the... But it doesn't matter. The owner's the getting check. the full amount and right? he's just handing mm -hmm. over $2,000. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. It would involve the kennel. would need to be able to skip that bit off the side. Yeah, and hand it over in cash. But it could be done with a credit card or a check if they really wanted to do it. It would be a lot more difficult. No, they're going to have money. How? Because they would have two thousand dollars in their the account. Other, I, think, I, I think what they're saying, Todd, is that yeah. one way or the other, the kennel is going to get that money. Say, for mm -hmm. example, a dog puts ten grand, mm -hmm. and yeah. yeah, we're going to charge you fifteen grand. Right. Someone's going to get a little five thousand on the side. So one way or the other, the kennel is going to get fifteen thousand dollars, either by check mm -hmm. or through the credit card That's company. Right with the five thousand dollars that they can freely contribute to whoever they want to give it to i think that's the thinking so that right the con and what, what you are also saying david i think is that okay so what are the checks and balances here well what i heard is that there is there's a supervisor mm -hmm. who right who is making people. sure so unless yeah. everybody's in cahoots too, right yeah, so there's all two deciding. people involved yeah unless uh -huh. there's two people involved they're each going to get 2500 of that five thousand. Yeah. so even if the yeah, transaction is slightly I don't. I, I can't really conceive right now how it would be more difficult to do it. But even if it were, the checks and balances are the same for both transactions, and I don't see a measurable difference between the two transactions. That channel or whatever would have to take out of his pocket two thousand dollars or thousand dollars or whatever yeah. and give to them. And then he would have to wait and get the money from. Him. The credit card company. The well, credit the, the, card company money might be coming in a little later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the check is the same, though. I mean, yeah. it's, still have to cash it. you still got to cash the check, and it yeah. still has to come from Dollars for Dogs' yeah. bank account. But it's yeah. still good money either way. Yeah. You know, it's, it's yeah, I don't know that there's right. any appreciable there's difference. There's a element there, too. Yeah. True, but wow, I think we're getting so yeah. existentially well, out there that it's just not you know, an appreciable you, difference. You, but then again, that's why we have this law. Yeah. 
is to keep honest people honest. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and so yeah. we don't want to slip up and. No, you that's right. I, I tell you what, if this is this is my opinion. My opinion, and you can do with it as you wish, <laughs> right? Is that that based on what I've heard, is that there's no appreciable difference that would render one more noticeably, substantively more vulnerable than the other. Yeah. Now that's different from the fact that it always makes everybody nervous that you're carrying a blank check in your pocket. That's different. That's a whole different issue because if it gets lost or stolen or Okay, well, I suppose someone could try to rob a sergeant of the AP. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> like it just seems kind of, but that's a different issue. We're talking about like a deliberate, unethical fraud taking place, yeah. and I can't see the difference. My, in my, noticeably different. My opinion would be we should have that discussion as part of our letter that we've talked about it, and that I don't think there's a substantive difference between the two transactions that would render that would make us want to tell him he's got to change his procedure. Yeah. I just don't see it. From an ethical standpoint. From an Maybe ethical from standpoint. business standpoint, don't walk around with blank checks. Right, but, but again, it's a different issue. issue. Right. It's because from the, an ethical standpoint. The, it's the check difference. comes from Dollar That's dollar right. Dogs to the shelter, to the That's right. shallow creek, whoever. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's signed by, so there's, I mean, yeah. there were one step through our person and one step removed. He's, he's yeah. not identified in it. It's not coming from the municipality's bank, you know, bank account. Yeah. It's not a blank blank check. Right. No, that's right. Yeah, that's right. It does have dollars no. for dogs. Yeah, well, it's it's not signature. Right. But no, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, Do you feel that? Uh, I think so. If you conclude that the no one method of transaction of purchase is more questionable from an ethical standpoint than any other. Do you think there's adequate checks and balances because of the presence of the supervisor ensuring that the amount that's filled out on the check is appropriate and actually accurate in terms of the actual cost of the dog? And that's kind of the question. Isn't it? I Are think there's enough. That there's enough. I think there's enough uh, that we don't need to ask them to change their procedure. Mm -hmm. That would be my opinion. Um, but I can all... I always say, I can get outvoted. <laughs> I have no problem with that, but that's my well, opinion. Yeah. yeah. But um, do, uh, are, are they, is this a timeliness issue? Are they waiting for a response no, from I, us? I, no, I have, because we are so positive, I already told them the ethics board was oh. going to, was um, in oh, okay. favor of their program. Because uh, no, Jason. No question about the program. Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. No yeah. Jason made, I, I, the last little bit there, Jason sounded like we've got real concerns. I don't know that I have concerns about it. We were, I, I want him to know that we're literally asking questions. Maybe we come across a little well, rougher on no, the edges, no. but. Well, what's the, what, why I asked him about yeah. this group is because we, they've been trying to give us money for six or seven months now, and you normally buy dogs in the spring. Yeah. Oh. Training, and that oh. we keep. This little I isn't dotted from the administration. Oh, this wow. little I, the chief, new chief of police, thinks it should be. And so we think we have an agreement. We oh. think the ethics board is on board, and something else happens. Have we so, missed a dog buying transaction or not? I don't know. It's yeah. early summer. But, right. uh, well, the, but, the only thing that I would agree to yeah. is if you wrote something like, like you wrote up here, yeah. which is very good except for that one, is that if you were to put something in there uh, as to the way, the manner in which you are trans transferring finances or this sort of thing is strictly between APD and the kennel. Yeah. Dollars for dollars. Dollars for dollars, dollars, for dollars and and the kennel. Yeah, between uh, between. Dollars and per dollars in the That's a good point. Not, not That's a good, their yeah. decision. Yeah. yeah. That's how they. That's a good point. Yeah. So why don't we have an additional sentence or a small short paragraph? Yeah. How does that sound? That sounds yeah. fine. That says. And that addresses, and I, I kind of feel like we should address that particular issue. It's a good issue to talk about, and I'm satisfied with the response. Okay. Let me try to come up with something. You know what I also yeah. heard that I thought was interesting is he said that this is the way we always do it now is by check. And, and, and what? He said the way they always do it now is by checking. Because, because they like well, they, they like that kennel. kennel. They yeah. like this kennel. So and you know, and I, it hasn't been the only way. They no. Been yeah, so really I need to change yeah. that portion I mean, of the opinion. No, and, and I respect. I respect them wanting. I, that's a very personal choice for right. and, and for. I mean that that dog, 
and that officer have an extraordinarily close relationship. They live with them. They for the life of the dog, I understand. Yeah, right. And and I I can very much appreciate them wanting one kennel that has a certain set of dogs that they like. You know, I, I'm okay with that. Absolutely. There's, there's one. They made one change there, and and that's that they send a supervisor down there. Right. That's right. So it's not the officer that's going to be having a dog. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah, I think that yeah. I put that down that's too. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's an important point too. So. And again, and the other thing they did with the whole DFD is that the employees can't be on that board anymore. Right. Because yeah. it typically was a canine unit that's right. employee. Yeah. And just no. Take you know, off. can we address those things and the fact that they're using checks? Mm -hmm. We shouldn't hide from that issue. Yeah. We should address the fact that they're using checks to make these transactions. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with it. Okay. Yeah. Is, yeah. is this one of those that if D gets it um, yeah, taken care of, we can um, pull it, push dogs, it out? Dogs and yeah. Do you want to see the letter again? I don't need to see it. Meaning, assuming that D makes the, yeah. the edits that we are talking about yeah, here you today, have to sign it? I'm okay to sign it. Yeah. Okay, you're okay with that? I'm okay. All right, we're on the we're on the record. Yes. Okay. Do we need a motion? So. So moved. So moved. Okay. Good. I think that's very helpful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Ted, very much. I think that's very helpful. Um, and please... No, no, no. no. And if we do have to talk to Jason, maybe a quick call to him. Yeah, Let him I know. I don't want him to worry that, that, that we're going off the rails here simply because the chair came Which back. Like, <laughs> back. <laughs> He's probably back. Okay. Chair. <laughs> that Mr. Nesbitt really fouled things up. Okay. So... Um, Next meeting. So let me just quickly. I know we're we're running 15 minutes late. I know we have to get oh, out of here. Not a problem. Uh, F and G. No, I'm sorry. F. There are two questions here. Can you answer them very quickly, or should we move those we to next meeting? No, you've already got an answer to one. I've done that, but when people review that, it's going to have to be for the next meeting. Okay. Okay, next okay that's fine. Okay. Um, next meeting. Code of ethics rewrite. Next meeting. Yeah. And then uh, I will try to attend. Uh, I'm on seven A now. Assembly ethics and elections committee meeting. I will try to make that. Um, and then reports. We don't have any reports. Is that right? No additional reports. Any no. member comments? No member comments. Audience participation. There's nobody here from the audience. I guess there's no audience. Is what I meant to say. <laughs> okay. Move to adjourn. Next meeting. Yes. Oh, the next meeting. So what we're thinking about doing is putting on the next Monday. The same time, same July place. July eighteenth. July eighteenth. Okay. Um, and then uh, at that meeting, we'll have everybody back. Hopefully, I hope Becky can make it. But if not, um, and we'll try to schedule out some meetings yeah. from there. Is that okay for everybody? And so can we try to invite Becky and Julia. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if you yes. could rewrite my opinion a little bit. Why don't you do both? Yeah. Okay, I'll send it. And then and then we'll send it to Julia ahead of time. Oh, okay. Just <coughs> and yeah, prep them a little bit before they come in. Maybe. But it okay. is an important issue. Yeah. And then, um, okay. and and thank uh, uh, Lieutenant. I appreciate it. he's very he's very conscientious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and we want to make sure he knows that because we kind of cut him off at the end. So let him know that we appreciate his time. Can okay. Go. I know. Okay. Any, <laughs> any to move to adjourn? Second. No opposition. Adjourn. There we go. Okay. Thank you guys very much. Yes.